Welcome back to another Mac Edition tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you, as the title says, how to create animated desktop backgrounds. Now this tutorial was requested by one of the users. You can also leave your suggestions on what my next tutorial should be. And I'll try my best to fulfill your request. Let's continue with this tutorial. Now, <clears throat> um, down below in the description I provide you with these two folders or zip files. How to open these zip files is double click and uh, it will process you through the extraction wizard or you can right click and click extract to if you have WinRAR installed if you don't just um, this link is also in the description just uh, download it and install it so and then you just right click and click extract to and it will provide you with these for two folders well just one folder depending on which one you've downloaded so if you have Windows 7 32 bit download the 32-bit folder, if you have 64-bit, download the 64-bit folder and if you're unsure of which one you have just type in system information in the search tab uh, in the search text box on, uh, on the start button and um, then mine as you can see is 64-bit based and uh, yours will, you can probably estimate it around there you'll see it from there so when you've downloaded the folders and you've extracted them um, open up the folders so for let me I'll go to the 32 bit first in the 32 bit folder you have two videos and one setup so when you go through the setup reboot your computer um, or laptop uh, and then and then we'll use these two videos I'll come back to that in the 64 bit folder what you will need to do is you will need to follow this important readme text file so open it up and when it's opened, uh, these are the instructions, these three are the main instructions you'll have to follow. And then again, reboot your computer, it's vital that you do that. And then uh, that's it. <clears throat> after that, after whichever one depending on you've downloaded, uh, you've gone through the process and you've rebooted your computer. Let me go into here. Okay, I'll provide you with two videos. One of them which is 720p and the other one is 180p. These videos, well, this desktop background was created in uh, 3D Studio Max and uh, then edited it in, uh, I think it's After Effects. Okay. Now, depending on your resolution, you use whichever one suits best to your resolution, obviously. Uh, mine, I'll go with 180p. So, after you've done the setup, right click and click Set as Desktop Background. When you click that, you will see that uh, your background begins to animate. Now, the only problem that you will well, the only downside to this is it only works with WAV files. Th sorry, WMV files. Okay, so you'll have to convert your video to WMV to set it as a desktop background. Keep that in mind; uh, it'll come uh, useful later on. Okay, so um, one of the problems that you may face is um, let me just show my desktop uh, icons. Is that your desktop icons, um, mine are perfect, mine are working fine but what will happen is your might just um, mess up okay so to fix that you will have to do is right click and go on personalize and this window will pop up, go on desktop backgrounds and then you want to tick this little box right here, don't click on the image just tick the box click save and that's it, your desktop uh, icon should be back to normal. And let me just hide this. Okay, and um, that's pretty much all from this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, if it helps in any way, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and rate the video. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.